I was on a volleyball team. We were all practicing one night and I fell to go for a dive and I hit my head and I got a concussion. So I had to get a you know routine MRI. They said, you don't only have one tumor, you have two. It was my 16th birthday. I can remember us walking out and it was like surreal. And we were all just silent. You know when they say like your world can just turn upside down in, in an instant? And that's pretty much what it was. When I was told my diagnosis, the doctors came in and they were like, you know, you're gonna go deaf in two years. That was devastating. Music was something I wanted to do as a career. I loved music growing up. I would say life with McKinnon before she was diagnosed was kind of just lighthearted. <laughs> it was kind of always laughing, joking around. We played a bunch of sports together and stuff. We were in the same friend groups. McKinnon pre-diagnosis was the risk-taking fireball tornado of the family. And even after diagnosis, she is still the risk-taking fireball tornado of the family. But that serves her really well because she strives to live life on her own terms. We are gonna move on with our life and try to act like nothing's happening and make the most of it and stuff. But at the same time, we know this is a serious disease. She has to fight for her life every day. It's this chemo appointment, and then the chemo's not working, and then my, my kidneys are failing, and it's, oh, then my hearing's going out, and I went on, oh, and then you need brain surgery. The older I get, the actually, the more scared I am because the more I understand how bad this can be. One of the things I do worry about for McKinnon and everybody else is how do you stay positive as much as you do? I realize how my life can be, can be short. You know, I might not live to like my full extent of my life, but I hope to take the pain that I've been through and kind of turn it into something great. Being the CTF National Ambassador, it means everything to me. I want to represent everybody and their feelings and their pain and their incredible stories and the amazing people that they are. And I'm really excited to be able to share those stories and inspire others, hopefully. In order to solve the NF2 puzzle, we all need to funnel and work together to do the science that we need to get better treatments and ultimately a cure for NF. And we want to find a cure for it, and we're doing everything that we can to keep her healthy and get her back to normal. I believe in my lifetime, we're going to come so much further to where there is a cure. Leading to a cure means research, and research takes money. <sighs> McKinnon is, she's the bravest person I know. She has such a strong spirit. I think she's a really great role model because she never gives up. I admire her resiliency. My name is McKinnon Galloway, and I am the Children's Tumor Foundation National Ambassador. <laughs>